Right, this cloth, um, it is very, very difficult, I feel, for you to get a sense just from images of how light and open and delicate this cloth is. And also the amount of work that's on I mean, if you look at it here, I'm guessing it's about 16 inches by 10. I'm not going to get up and get my tape measure because it's miles away and I don't want to start clattering and turning on and off. Um, and it's going to take a lot more work a lot more sections but I'm going to persist with it because I love it and I don't want it to be one of those things that gets left behind. Um, this is, I said I had two tables, this is a much nicer finish on this table but this is a coffee table I can't work on here because it's quite low down. Um, so you're seeing it on a nicer table than the, the other table that gets a lot of uh, wear and tear and is quite battered. So I've got this row of hexagons here and I'm at the moment I'm in the process of making something to extend that way and you'll notice here I've done this edge already that's the edge finish with lace and these dangly things that don't dangle there do you remember those from the other day and then that edge is also finished to that point with lace then I've got the hexagons and as I say I'm going to extend that way so there will be more going on on that edge as it's extended that way. I haven't decided yet. It's evolving as I work on it. I haven't got any plan, not any plan that's set in stone anyway. My only plan at the moment is to keep adding to it and stopping when I feel like stopping and when it tells me to stop. Um, so that's it basically. And if I hold it up, I mean, it is so light. It is so fragile. These open areas add to that. I'm going to do some more of these these open areas when I extend make the pieces to extend I've got hexagons in there already in that section I hope they show up properly they're there I think they're all I have so far hexagon wise apart from this bit here um, and then basically I'm just joining it together haphazardly I'm not even doing straight seams I mean this piece was joined on here and that seam goes round in a curve and it's buttonhole lace and I'll try and pull in so you can see that I just don't want it to blur so here that's two sections joined and some of those dangly things there but that's two sections joined that's that area sorry I've moved away so there going round there to there and then obviously the lace on the edge so if I just literally don't do anything apart from just move it slightly in front of the camera then hopefully you'll get a sense of how light it is I'll just pull out a little bit now right, so say I just do this you know and dangle it and manipulate it I mean it hangs beautifully I love how it hangs I mean how lovely is that it kind of falls into a wrap a wrapped form as if it was a shawl anyway that's me holding it from a corner so it's only a short video because I don't want to bang on forever but that is how it is and as I say it's only about 16 by 10 um, that's all and I want it at least 30 by 20 I think so I've still got quite a bit of work to do on this quite a way to go so I just hope that gives you a better sense of that piece. I'll hold it up actually when I turn off because you do see it better. So then these open areas they're possibly my favourite areas so I'll hold that like that on my arm. In fact I was seeing I'll just show you before I go sleeve on a wedding gown. Anybody getting married? I think it looks like a lovely sleeve. So then if I hold it try and hold it there while I turn off so that it doesn't fall off. Okay. <laughs> 